Peace be with you everyone welcome to my channel. My name is Trevor, really grateful to have you here and I've got a very special video for you today. I try to do one of these types of videos per month and this is a spray off challenge. So if you're not familiar with the spray off challenge, it's where I pair two fragrances in a four seed tournament and line them up as such, spray their distributions at one another mid-air allowing for a collision of their respective juices and whichever of the two fragrances dominates the airspace moves on to the next round of the tournament until there is a clear winner that overcomes all other fragrances in the tournament and so this is just for fun there are a lot of variables that make this a somewhat unreliable test you could say um, atomizer strength is going to be distributing different amounts of perfume depending on the bottle but nonetheless this month I usually try to ascribe a theme to each time I do one of these last month was April showers so it was fragrances with aquatic notes sea notes watery notes and this month May flowers uh, April showers bring May flowers this month I'm gonna do violets versus roses or sorry violets versus roses so I'll just go ahead and get started right away with this first pairing here we've got uh, Cartier declaration Dun Soir, a rose based fragrance going up against Lalique's homage a la Lome, a violet uh, centric fragrance uh, all the violet fragrances in this tournament are be violet leaf notes at least that's what they're listed on Fragrantica so I'll pair these up right away here and we'll go ahead and start things off. Three, two, one. Okay, that was a pretty good distribution and collision. But, oh man. Hmm, that's layering pretty nicely in the air. But the candied violet from Lalique Homage a la Lome is taking over the more fresh aspects of the Declaration Dun Soir. So Lalique's Homage à la Lome, the Violet Fragrance is moving on to the next round. Uh, next, uh, let's go ahead and do two more. These both are affordable fragrances. They're a little bit more light and versatile in their own unique ways. We've got 4711 Aqua de Colonia Awakening Woods of Scandinavia going up against Burberry's Touch. So, Violet Leaf and Rose. Uh, Rose isn't a main player in this fragrance, but it is um, definitely present, uh, somewhat like Bois de Vetiver from Karl Lagerfeld, if you're familiar with that. Um, so let's go ahead and pair these two up. Here we go, three, two, one. Okay, pretty nice collision there. That Pretty equal juice levels I would say from those two atomizers pretty close however the nice fresh sort of musky laundry detergent from Burberry touch is winning out in the airspace right here so so far violets are the winners we've got homage all alone and Burberry touch moving on I'm gonna set these bottles over here next up we've got Two black bottles, pretty heavy hitters here. Creed's Green Irish Tweed for our Violet Corner going up against Moschino's Toy Boy in the Rose Corner. Go ahead and get the caps off of both of these and get them prepared for the blast off. Here we go, three, two, one. Okay, another nice even distribution here. Hmm, that's pretty close. Um, I'm gonna give it one more shot there. Three, two, one. Man, all right, that is... I'm gonna go one more time. This one is cutting it close. Three, two, one. Um, I would have to say narrowly, Green Irish Tweed, again, Violet's moving on. 
roses falling behind a bit here. We'll see how the next round goes. These are both also some heavy hitters, both rather more dense and sweet fragrances compared to what we've seen so far. This is Isimiyake Lotus A or Ensance, nice smoky incense rose fragrance going up against yours. Fahrenheit Le Parfum, really nice boozy vanillic licorice violet leaf fragrance. So let's go ahead and pair these two up. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, pretty nice comparable distribution on these two as well. Also very close, but as the dust is settling, I think there was, interestingly enough, a clear winner on that one, and it, it was Oran Sans from Isimiyaki. So, luckily, pulled through for Team Rose and is the only one of the roses moving on to the next round. Uh, there is a good chance, however, that Oran Sans takes the entire takes the entire tournament as the violet fragrances despite winning out are a little bit more light and fresh and Oran Sans is the only fragrance in the air right now that is lingering out of everything that's been sprayed so um, let's go ahead and do homage a la Lome up against Burberry's Touch here we go uh, interesting pairing here they both they both have kind of a, a musky Violet leaf. Let's go ahead and line these two up. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, really nice even distribution. Good collision. Candied violet from Lali Gomaj Alom. Starting out dominant. However, the nice laundry style musks from Burberry Touch actually took over the airspace. Yeah, so the opening on Homage took the W there, but uh, Touch ended up taking the overall win. So, we've got Oran Sans up against Green Irish Tweed, which will be going up against Burberry's Touch in the final round. Let's see what we have here. Three, two, one. Okay. A lot closer than I was expecting, actually. I'm actually gonna have to go one more round with that. Wow. Okay, nice even distribution there. Hmm. Yeah, like the lemon verbena from Green Irish Tweed is standing its ground, but. Overall, Isimiyaki Oran Sans moves on to the finals. So, interesting uh, final round here. Burberry Touch going up against Isimiyaki Oran Sans. So let's see what happens here in the final round. Can the laundried musks of Burberry Touch overcome the smoky jammy rows of Oran Sans? Here we go. Let's line these up here. Final round, three two, one. Okay. This is actually a pretty nice layer combo as well. Reminds me a little bit of like Nag Champa incense. Huh. Man, okay. Actually, one more. That's a close one. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ah. Honestly, I feel like these are very much evenly matched. I'm tempted to even call it a tie here. And I can distinctly smell the violet and the rose from the both of the two fragrances right now. I'm going to go ahead and give the overall win of the tournament to 
Well, it was a really close call there at the end. I'm going to have to give the win to Isimiyaki Oran Sans. Really late night comeback from this fragrance. We had all three of the other rose fragrances eliminated in the first round. This was the only rose that went on to the semifinals and finally went on to win the entire tournament up against the other three violet fragrances. So, really nice, awesome, smoky, jammy rose. Looking forward to wearing this one closer to spooky season, October. I think this is really a great time for this fragrance. And I uh, really had a lot of fun with this month's Floral Rose vs. Violet Spray Off Challenge. Let me know in the comment section down below if you've got any ideas for themes in the upcoming months for future Spray Off Challenges. And as always, I really appreciate you sticking with me to the end of this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.